so a couple episodes back, we talked about business models that save you money and they just take a percentage of savings and how that's like the biggest no-brainer of all time. We said taxes was good, like income taxes. We said um, software savings, car savings. We said a bunch of stuff. That was kind of an, an interesting episode. I hung out with this guy who is, uh, he just lives a few doors down from me. He started this company called Student Loan Hero. You know Student Loan Hero? Never heard of it. I I don't even know what it does. It basically helps you consolidate debt, I think. So like if you have student debt, you go to their website and you purchase some... I, I don't know. I, I haven't had a lot of I, debt. I, th I think what it does is it... Uh, I, I've seen models like this. I haven't looked up their website, but I've Common Bond is another one of these. They basically just refinance your debt at a lower rate. So they save you money. And then they basically make money because the new lender will pay them a fee for the for the loan they originated for them. Exactly. Um, I just haven't had to do that. So I, I, I'm not exactly sure how it works. But anyway, he sold that company, bootstrapped it, sold it for $60 million. His new company is called, uh, what's it called? Proper Lot. Properlot.com. And he, what his goal, I went, me and Sarah went to his house the other day for breakfast. And uh, the guy just, he like, I took a picture of like my, like just me in front of my house. I, I don't remember what I was doing. I posted online. He's like, I don't want to be creepy or anything, but I think I live like five doors down from you. Do you want to hang out? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I went to his house and we hung out and he's got this new company called Proper Lot and they're doing this, but with property taxes. And what's there's a few interesting things about this. The first thing is that he's trying to make this, he has this theory where he thinks he can make it, makes it, he, he thinks he can make it relatively big, like millions of dollars in revenue with him being the only employee. So that's what he's doing. That's interesting in itself. Second, how, how do they save you money on property taxes? Is there a yeah. simple explanation or no? Yeah. So the second is the actual business. So in where I now live in Austin, your property value goes up every year or every two years, and then you're taxed 2% of your property value. Um, because there's no income tax, that's how they get their money. So I bought my house for uh, about $1 million. It's currently... It went up crazy, very oddly. Like It's, like, it's odd, but it sucks for me that it went up like 20% in the first 60 days of owning it. And now I owe 2% of like $1.2 million a year in taxes. So let's just say that that's $20, $22,000 or something a year in taxes that I owe. And what Proper Lot does is you tell them your address. They look at the assessed value of your neighbors and they tell you the, to the government, hey, this actually isn't fair that you charge us $1.2 million. Our value actually should be $1.1 million. And it, all in all, I it saves me about $1,000 a year. And they take uh, $300 of that fee. And there's a few companies in the space, but a lot of them are older, uh, like old school. One's called... Uh, I think it's called PO... The URL is POConnor.com. Uh, they do about $100 million a year in revenue with 200 people. And then another one's called Five Stone, which is local to Austin. They uh, they filed 24 pro 24,000 protests last year and made like $4 million. The way the company works is what the numbers are the average revenue per customer is about 50 to 300 dollars and uh it usually saves customers two to five percent of uh an appraised value it lowers your appraised value by two to five percent um and they have a 70 percent success rate so for 70 percent of the users who sign up they reduce you by two to five percent kind of an interesting business model and uh i i i had i don't know if you had heard of it but i think it's great that's pretty cool i, I like that a lot um i wonder like you know how do they need your permission to do it? So for, for example, do you have to sign up as a customer and request it or can they just yeah. be like proactively doing it and then leave a flyer at your door? Hey, we, you know, we did this for you. Would you like these, this much savings? Well, you know, it's ready for you. Just claim your account. Like that would be a crazy growth hack if they could do it. Yeah, no, um, you have to sign up, but that actually would be a great marketing scheme. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, cool. I like this idea a lot. Did you have anything you wanted? Is there a riff of it? Uh, no. I just okay. thought it was cool. <laughs> no, I think that's uh, cool. The other day, uh, one of our listeners, Jordan, told me that he goes, I listen to you guys just because you tell me cool shit I'd never heard of. So yeah, that, no, was, that was fine. one of them. 